Hi there, I'm Calvin French Owen, co-founder and CTO of Segment. I've spent the last 10 years thinking mostly about customer data. And today I wanted to talk to you about a category that's been getting a lot of attention recently in the market, customer data platforms or CDPs. Now, the unfortunate fact of the matter is that today's customer experience is really more fragmented than ever. You're talking to customers on Twitter, your homepage, via email. They're using your mobile apps, reading your marketing content, and browsing online sites. They're interacting with your support team via your help desk and via live chat. So you need to do something to coordinate all those experiences, but how do you do it? We're still sending the wrong email or having an untrained support rep doesn't just mean a bad experience. It means lost customers. At Segment, we're fortunate to have helped thousands of customers build their customer data platforms and bring reliable data to every team. We've combed through over 500 billion data points to help you make sense of the customer data platform landscape. By the end of this video, our goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to confidently navigate everything CDP. Let's dive in. First up, what is a CDP? Now, there's a lot of misconception out there about what a CDP is, so let's just set the record straight. A customer data platform is a tool that helps you bring reliable data to every team. That means it helps you with data collection, taking customer data from a number of different tools, data governance, validating and transforming that data so it's clean and accurate, data processing and consolidation, combining that data to create unified profiles of your customers, and data activation, deploying those profiles to other tools to improve your customer's experience. Concretely, that has four parts. You wanna connect your data from different sources, whether that's your website, your mobile apps, or internal tools you're using like help desks. You need to bring that data all into one consistent place where you govern it. You make sure it follows your protocols and PII rules. And then finally, you synthesize that data, combine it into a single view of the customer, and you take action on it. You push it into your CRM for your salespeople, maybe email tools for your marketing, advertising, or other tools you might be using to power different parts of your business. CDPs combine all of these different parts to make sure that you provide a consistent customer journey across every touch point. Now, when we look at the CDP industry itself, it's growing crazy fast. The number of vendors grew by 48% in the last 12 months alone. On the buyer side, we're seeing interest grow equally fast. Searches in customer data platform are increasing at a pretty steep rate. So why now? Well, data collection is becoming a lot more fractured than ever before. The average SaaS company out there today uses 80 plus tools. So businesses are having to invest more and more resources to keep their tools and their customer data in sync. That bad data costs your business real dollars. IBM estimates that bad data costs the US $3 trillion every single year. So how is a CDP actually used? Well, a CDP can improve the decisions you make, your speed and delivery, and ultimately your customer experience. Let's look at a few real live examples. The first one I have for you is IBM. IBM connects many different sources of data from internal tools they have, like their website, uh, to their different internal platforms, whether it's their cloud platform like Bluemix, Watson, or even Compose.io. Now, IBM has all of these different business units with different users, but at the end of the day, they wanna provide a consistent customer experience. And in their case, Segment is the tool that allows them to do that. It doesn't matter where they look at the data, with Segment, they get that single consistent view of the customer. Another good example is Bonobos. Bonobos is an online e-commerce company that sells clothing. For Bonobos, they have a lot of different touch points. Uh, they have their offline retail stores, their online shopping, as well as mobile apps. And for them, it's incredibly important to understand how customers navigate through those different channels. Segment is what allows them to do that. It ties together that offline behavior from Facebook and from other different sources that they have with that online behavior that they have on their site. Now, CDPs have gained a lot of traction in the market, but there's still plenty of misconceptions out there about their true potential. Let's walk through those now. Misconception number one, they're only for marketing. 
Wrong. 26% of customers connect customer success tools. Another 15% connect their CRM. And a whopping 31% connect a data warehouse for custom analytics purposes. Clearly we're going on just the plain old marketing and ad spend use case here. Misconception number two, they're only for big companies with big tech stacks. Wrong again. CDPs are being adopted by companies both big and small. Enterprise companies tend to be sending about 20% more destinations than SMB and mid-market companies. But universally, we're seeing adoption as companies are seeking to unify that customer journey, no matter how big or small you are. Misconception number three, CDPs are just another hyped technology, and it's not really any different than its predecessors. Wrong again. Gartner recently placed CDPs in the peak of inflated expectations. What that means is that CDP buyers are expecting this technology to do more than it's actually capable of. What we've seen over the past 12 months is that customer data platforms are delivering real value. Segment alone is processing 500 billion events through its customer data platform every single month, and it's growing. In 2019, the overall volume of events that customers have tracked through Segment CDP increased by 60%. In closing, I'd like to share a few of our predictions for how the CDP market will unfold. Prediction number one, 2020 will be the year CDP enters the mainstream. With a dramatic increase in RFPs and customer adoption of CDPs over 2019, David Rabb, the founder of the Customer Data Platform Institute, has predicted that customer data platforms will be a clear line item in technology budgets. We think this year is the breakout year for CDPs to really come online and come into their own. Prediction number two, customer data platforms will have to balance privacy and personalization. Many of the folks we interviewed for this article highlighted privacy as a key area of focus for the year ahead. And specifically, they called out what we call the privacy personalization paradox how to balance the desire for data-driven personalization with their customer's desire for better data privacy. At first glance, it might appear that a CDP designed to track customer data could actually contribute to data's privacy problems. But in reality, it's quickly becoming an indispensable part of the solution. It's on vendors to educate the market accordingly. Prediction number three, CDPs will move from adoption to automation. In 2019, we saw consolidation around the core competencies of a customer data platform. 2020, we'll likely see new competencies added. One area we expect to see innovation are purpose-built workflows created on top of CDPs. On top of the integrations that just share data both ways, it's possible that CDPs could add additional API endpoints to perform these actions themselves. In moving from intelligence to action, CDPs would move further up the value chain. So we covered a lot here in these past few minutes. We covered what is a CDP, how is the CDP market changing, and how should I be thinking about CDPs going forward? Now, obviously all this is just scratching the surface. We put together a full 5,000 word report sharing our internal data that you can find in the description below. If you're looking for an even deeper dive, download the free downloadable CDP report also in the description below. Let's make 2020 the year of magic customer experiences. Thanks.